Men stand on a row of sandbags, text, sack topping. Sack topping. Sack topping is used to raise low areas on the levee crown or creek embankment above a forecasted flood elevation. Rows of sandbags are positioned parallel to the flow of water. These are referred to as stretcher rows. The width of rows in the base layer is laid one and a half times wider than the estimated height of the topping. This is usually achieved by placing one okay. less row of bags with each additional layer. For example, if three rows are placed in the base layer, the next layer will have two, and then a centered row on top. When completed, a cross-section view of the structure would be in the shape of a pyramid, with all joints overlapping. In most cases, stretcher rows can be used to build the entire sack topping wall. However, when more strength is required, each additional layer can be placed in the opposite direction, across the previous layer. These are called cross rows. Workers place canvas sandbags in a tight formation on top of other bags. The diversion wall. Workers pass sandbags down a line. A half pyramid shaped sandbag wall can be used for diverting water and mud flows. The tall side of the wall faces the flow of water and mud. As with most sandbag structures, the width of the base layer is one and a half times wider than the estimated height of the structure. In this method, the second layer is placed directly over the bottom layer to begin forming the wall. Each joint is overlapped and stomped into place. Additional layers continue to be positioned, forming the shape of a half pyramid. Three rows of sandbags sit on the ground. A layer of bags is added to two rows. Another layer is added to one row, creating a pyramid-shaped wall.